Shalom. Call Halal Yahweh by Hashem Abishai, by Hashem Rakai Pagash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. To the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth, that be like unto the speckled bird, the Israelite foreigners, and to the Akwath that are listening and learning to you, I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm from the branch of the Great Millstone here in Chicago coming at you with another lesson in truth. You know, and uh, may we all endure um, until the end, these, these last days. May the Lord keep the spirit on us. Um, but this is, uh, this is a video that I'm profiling that was put up by the, by the uh, beautiful brother Amuana Bai. And it's called, Then Shall the Wicked Be Revealed, the Son of Perdition. And uh, I didn't watch the entire video. I probably watched about uh, about 35 minutes of it. It's a 51 minute video, and um, you know, and, and it's, it it was fire and beautiful uh, edification, you know, as, as usual coming from from this brother. And um, in the beginning, you know, he 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 pointed out a few things that he went in on um, about what this man said, and and I'm gonna play the clip. You know, it's about it's about five five minute long interview, maybe almost six minutes. But he says a lot. But one thing that he does do at the four minute and 30 second mark, he had pretty much admits that America used propaganda. All right. Because they talk about Hitler and his use of propaganda. But he he basically admitted that America uses propaganda as well. All right. And um, and at the three minute mark, he talked about controlling of death. All right. So controlling the death. Now I'm going to read the definition of propaganda uh, from uh, from the Winston Simplified Dictionary Encyclopedia. From the Winston Simplified Dictionary Encyclopedia, Edition, 1933, with biblical references. I'm going to read propaganda, which is on page 773, and propagandist. Now, carefully listen to the definitions. And reflect on a statement that I just said. All right. It says. Propaganda. Um, it's from the Latin. Congregation propagand propag propagation of the faith. All right. A committee of cardinals have a control of foreign missions. C college funded by Pope Urban. Uh, the eighth at which missionaries are educated propaganda any organization or method of spreading a certain opinion or belief the opinion or belief thus spread so and all christian churches all right are branches of the catholic church so they're not teaching the doctrine of the lord of yahweh bashan that was shy they're teaching their own propaganda their own opinions and beliefs all right now and that spread into what you know because through the through the catholic church and through the churches they got control over what the whole world all right now this is a propaganda propagandist right under it it says consistently spread certain doctrines principles or the like as advocacy of war prohibition Birth control. And see, you got to understand, Esau is the weakest and has the weakest sperm. All right. He does not procreate like the other nations, especially Israel, which is why he's so concerned with birth, con birth control or, as he says in here, the control of death. Are the enemies of freedom here in the United States? Well, I don't think you can say who in the United States. I don't think there are any sinister persons deliberately trying to rob people of their freedom. But I do think, first of all, that there are a number of impersonal forces which are pushing in the direction of less and less freedom. And I also think that there are a number of technological devices which anybody who wishes to use can use to accelerate this process. Hold on. Technical devices to accelerate this process that breathes to mind. First Timothy uh, six and twenty. 
O Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust, avoiding profane and vain babblings of oppositions of science, falsely so-called. So you got a lot of false science being uh, connected with technical advancements that's being that has been pushed in the past and being pushed especially now. You know, with this machine, that machine, the data says the data the data can be controlled. Propaganda. Going away from freedom of imposing control. Well, what are these forces and these devices, Mr. I should say that the uh, there are two main impersonal forces. Uh, uh, the first of them is not exceedingly important in the United States at the present time, though very important in other countries. Uh, this is the force which in general terms can be called overpopulation, the, the mount Overpopulation. And I highly suggest that you go and watch this video, you know, that the brother Amawad Abad, you know, uh, uh, does, because he goes into that pretty extensively pressure of population pressing upon existing resources uh, this of course is an extraordinary thing something is happening which has never happened in the world's history before i mean let's just take a, a simple fact that between the, the time of the birth of christ and the landing of the mayflower the population of the earth doubled it rose from 250 million to probably 500 million today the population of they had no way of counting how many people were in the earth at the time of the Mayflower or at the time of the birth of, of the Lord. No way of counting that. All right. And there's nothing new under the sun. So the earth has always had the amount of people that it has now. That's a pseudoscience lie. That's propaganda. All right. That's the spread of, a, of, a, of an opinion. The Earth is rising at such a rate that it will double in half a century. Well, why should overpopulation work to diminish our freedoms? Well, in a number of ways. I mean, the the um, experts in the field, like Harrison Brown, for example, pointed out that in the underdeveloped countries, uh, actually the standard of living is at present falling. That people have less to eat and less goods per capita than they had 50 years ago, and as the position of these countries, the economic position becomes more and more precarious. Obviously, the central government has to take over more and more responsibility for keeping the ship of state on an even keel. And then, of course, you're likely to get um, social unrest under such conditions with, again, an, inv uh, 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 an inv So what he's doing is really what he's doing. He's prophesying or giving you the game plan. You cut off the resources make life hard and you eventually you get social unrest because the earth has more than enough land and food and water to take care of all the people and even more but you have certain individuals that own, own up way too much and want to hoard it to themselves and not give it to the people intervention of the central government so i think uh, you, one sees here a pattern which seems to be pushing very strongly towards a totalitarian regime and unfortunately as in all these uh, underdeveloped countries the only highly organized political party is the communist party it, it looks rather as though they will be the heirs to this uh, uh, unfortunate process that they will step into the power position of power it's a, an extraordinary situation actually i mean it, one has to look at it of course from a biological point of view the whole essence of, uh, of biological life on Earth is a question of balance. And what we have done is to practice death control. In See that? Death control, birth control, propaganda. The most uh, intensive manner, without uh, balancing this with uh, the birth control at the other end. Consequently, the uh, birth rates remain as high as they were. And death rates have fallen substantially. <clears throat> um, hierarchical systems controlled by bureaucracies, either the bureaucracies of big business or the bureaucracies of big government. Now, the devices that you were talking about, are there specific devices or uh, uh, methods of communication which diminish our freedoms in addition to overpopulation and overorganization? Well, there are certainly devices which can be used in this way. I mean, let us uh, take uh, a piece of very recent and very painful history is the 
uh, propaganda used by Hitler, which was incredibly effective. I mean, with, what were Hitler's methods? Hitler used terror on the one kind, brute force on one hand. But and America has done exactly the same. All right. And as a matter of fact, every every uh, place that is ruled over by Edom has used the same thing. He also used a very efficient uh, form of, uh, of propaganda, which uh, uh, he was using every modern device at that time. He didn't have TV, but he had the, the radio, which he used to the fullest extent. So now you got billboards, bus stops, the, the buses have billboards on them. So when you use in propaganda, you can just, all you need to do is just plaster the message or the opinion uh, in the face of the people so much until it just becomes fact in their minds. Propaganda. All right, because the truth doesn't need, the truth stands on its own. The truth doesn't need to be, ap uh, 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 need to be advertised or propagandized. And was able to uh, impose his will on an immense mass of people. I mean, the Germans were a highly educated people. But we're aware of all this, but how do we equate Hitler's use of propaganda for the way that propaganda, if you will, is used, let us say, here in the United States? Mm -hmm. There it is. All right. The parallel as it is used here in the United States. All right. Uh, this is uh, the book of Sirach. Ten and eight, and it reads, because of unrighteous dealings and injuries and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. And now the Lord is about to translate the kingdom away from Esau, Edom, to Jacob. All right. Uh, this is, uh, let's go to the book of Daniel. All right, this is Daniel 8 and 25, okay? Propaganda at his greatest. It says, and through his policy, he shall cause craft to prosper democracy. And everything that, he, that you just heard comes with democracy. And through his policy, also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand, and he shall magnify himself in his heart, meaning his mind, because they've lied so much about how great they are, they believe their own lies now. And by peace shall destroy m many. All right? I always talk about the, the, the democracy grenade and the democracy bullet, the democracy missile. Take this democracy, you know? <laughs> all right? We're bringing you peace, pow, 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 all right? It says, and he shall magnify himself also in his heart, and by peace shall destroy many. He shall also stand up against the prince of princes, but he shall be broken with hand. And how is he standing up against the prince of princes? He's saying that his science is greater than the most high. He's saying that his science is above what the world ignorantly calls God. This is uh, Daniel. No, not Daniel, but uh, Second Ezra six and uh, and six, and it reads, and then I considered these things, and there. And they were all made through me and through none other. By me also they shall be ended and by none other. Then answered I and said, what shall be the part in the son of times? Or what shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born, of him Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So the end of the age, 
And this is the end of the age of the so-called white man, Esau, Edom, who the Bible has identified as the wicked and the beginning of Jacob's, which is a, a never ending empire. All right. The house of David being set up. All right. With David sitting on the throne and he's being placed there by the king of kings, Yahweh himself. All right. So with that, I give all praises, honor and glory unto Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakar Kadash, Wa Ababa Ball, Shalom, Kwam Yasharala.